Hello everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra, We're jumping in again, this time we're going to play as good old Humphrey. Now, I do have to say, I did play this character in a previous episode, but that episode has been lost to time. Unfortunately, none of the audio was recorded, so the episode was just, had to be scrapped. But I'm going to play him again. We did unlock one of the bee skins here, um, which looks to be Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> Um, and then we're also trying to get this one for reaching a thousand skill. I believe this one was for, um, I don't actually remember what the hell was this for. Anyways, we're going to try and get the sea skin. Basically, this character, uh, is pretty interesting. So, the way that he works is we deal damage to build up skill. We have slightly reduced max HP and, uh, skill is going to increase all of our damage dealt. We can also sun and shrink enemies for the cost of five skill, which I didn't actually find that useful all in all. Um, by the way, this is an explosive crossbow. Um, starting weapon, so just, yeah, probably the best starting weapon we've had thus far, I'd say. And you can see our skill there is at 75, but it decays very rapidly over time. In fact, a little bit too rapidly in the early game for my liking, but it's fine. But yeah, we do have to be careful. We only have 6 HP, which makes this guy a lot more fragile than most characters. Means that we can perish pretty quickly, but you can see we're making our way back and we've basically got down to zero skill. We had to kill this guy. A little sad, but we'll work with it the way, any way that we can. Boiling Veins is going to be really good when we're using an explosive weapon, and it activates at 5 HP, and our max is 6, so it's going to be active most of the time. So I really don't mind that. But you can see the extra damage that we're dealing with bolts and stuff here from the skill we've got. Are you going to pop up? There you go. Little stuff. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. This is probably the best starting weapon I think you can get. Best golden weapon. Or at least in my opinion it is. Very, very strong. <laughs> I very like, I very much like it. I, I want to get Bolt Marrow going as well. Um, we'll go for second sp uh, strong spirit, sorry, to make sure that we don't just instantly die. I like where even the bolts are uh, gold tipped. But yeah, this allows us to go pizza sewers and everything, so... It's a very, very good, uh, starting. Pizza time, let's go. Very, very good starting weapon, in my opinion. I could grab the screwdriver, to be honest. I don't know why I wouldn't. Probably should, to be honest. Let's go get, let's go get it. Obviously, it is, um, what's it called? Cursed, but still. Throwing but skill decreases slower, we'll take that. That seems super useful. Trying to reach a thousand skill. I imagine thousand skill is going to be something that we don't get to until we loop. Dude, uh, I can't fucking kill this fish! Get off me, you big bastard. See, this thing just wrecked him. Look at all that. Right, did we blow up the car? I'm going to guess we did. <laughs> I didn't really think about this. Yeah, I'm not seeing the car anywhere, so I'm going to guess we blew it up. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Uh, we'll take Puffy Cheeks here. Preloading ammo seems useful. God damn, yeah, this thing this thing can carry. Just trying to be aware of what's ahead. But it's one shotting these big boys at this stage, so. I can get Bolt Marrow on this as well, it's going to be game over. Oh, that's not it, really? There's some enemies back over here. This is the annoying thing with the skill. When when there's like one enemy left miles away, you just lose all of your built-up skill. And it kind of sucks. Cool. Lost quite a bit of ammo there. Now, this thing does use two bolt ammo per shot, as you can clearly see. So, there is definitely a major downside to it.
You need to fucking calm down, lad. What's all that about? Cool. I had some more police come in there. Ow. Right, through here we go. I'd like to get rid of this screwdriver, so that's why I'm going through here. I want to uncurse it. So I can get rid of it. Really? Could you give me another <laughs> another same ammo weapon? Definitely what I was looking for. It does mean all the ammo we get now is for the right weaponry, which is nice. Oh, fuck me. Okay. This guy could easily kill us, so we got to be very careful. I do die to this guy quite often. Luckily, he will give us ammo. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Um, we'll take Tough Shell because it seems super useful as this dude. Okay. Just destroying stuff. We need uh, something that's going to give us more ammo. There you go. Freezy Assault Rifle helps out. With ammo situations. We're up to 180 skill at the moment, which is pretty darn good. I like having puffy cheeks, I can just fire rapidly when I start a stage. Seems very useful. It's this bloody police dude that's pissing me off. Fuck fuck you. Stop firing at such speeds. Okay, through we go. We've got boss coming up here, so let's do this right. What? What? Uh, excuse me? Double bouncer laser. It really is bouncing. <laughs> it really is bouncing. Uh, we'll go with Herming here, I guess. And... Okay, I run out of ammo very quickly there. Back up to full. Dude, I've got no. Okay, good. Fuck you, police. No one cares about you. Okay, we need more ammo gaining techniques. Um, Back muscle isn't really going to help. Bridge works well with what we've got going on right now. But yeah, ammo. I can't believe I had, like, literally no trouble with ammo early on, and now I'm having such a hard time. Was it because I only had the crossbow to start with? I was just getting ammo for only the crossbow, and now it's been spread between my guns. It's causing problems. Seems to be the main issue. How much health do these big boys have? Dude, look at that! I got two ammo things, and neither one of them were the right ammo. Come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, I didn't even get the ammo case. God damn it. Oh, stressful, man. You managed to hit me in there somehow. Stop giving me assault ammo. I don't want it. That's assault ammo again, you bastard. Game sometimes, man. There you go, 7-7. Seven, seven. Bit of a waste of ammo here, but... I want to open this up to get these guys to come over here so that I can fill this guy up. They don't seem to want to do that, though. Dude, get over here, come on. Also you. Gonna... Do anything? Nah. No. Okay, this guy's just not moving. Oh, there you go, there you go. You bugger off, you. Frost, definitely. 
Three we go. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go. Kraken launcher seems pretty good. I'm gonna take the Kraken launcher. Start with the Kraken launcher. Actually, I'll fire one of these off to start. And we'll start with the Kraken launcher. See how this goes. Well, I reached a thousand skill. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I expected it to be to reach a thousand skill there. That, that isn't how I expected that to go. Um, I think at this point we'll take Rhino Skin. Wow, this Kraken launch is insane. Holy hell. Um, impact wrists at this point. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's ludicrously good. Wow, I like this a lot. I don't know if I saw the ultras for this guy last episode, I don't think I did. I don't remember them if I did. Dude, this thing's nuts. Inverted portal here that I didn't actually mean to go through straight away, but I've done it now. Oh my god, dude. I'm so glad I took impact wrists. This made this so much more hectic. I mean, look at this. Beautiful stuff. Oh my god, this thing's nuts. Okay, Ultras. Let's see what we've got going on here. Gain two skills instead of one per hit. Uh, per shot hit. Sounds good. Skill increases reload speed. That's oh, very good. When you have more than 200 skill and you die, your death will be prevented. Pretty good. Um, and active can shrink all in projectiles. Eh. So I, I, I'm leaning towards probably this one or this one. I think I'm going to go with the reload speed. Assassin needs to get off me. Don't know what enemy it was down there that was messing around, but we got him. I just realized our rage meter is like super high now as well, isn't it? So. All that ammo back. Yeah, that increased reload speed from skill is pretty good. Just gotta make sure I keep on top of my ammo. Right, through here we go. Need to get some things on this. Oh, let's put Kraken on it. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do, but why the hell wouldn't I? Why the hell wouldn't I? Right. This is the challenge room. I don't, I'm not quite ready for the challenge room, I don't think. Oh, well, maybe I am. I don't know. This is the room I was looking for. I can gain extra max HP there. I can gain value of radiation there. I can gain one life there. Not bad, not bad. Still need to complete all of those and do the boss that you get for that, but I'll get there. Right, um... Go through here. Let's take a crown, shall we? Gain the armor, seems useful. Having puffy cheeks with this thing as well is also pretty nuts. Being able to triple shot it like that. Kind of amazing. These fucking snipers. Get out of here. That 
was close. I almost got run over by the truck then. Yeah, because it keeps our skill really high as well. Good stuff. Oh, we, we, are, we are almost out of ammo. We need to look for a, a better secondary weapon, really. Seeker wave gun. Pretty good. Okay. Well, this isn't great because we're literally completely out of ammo. I'm going to guess this guy will drop us some ammo. Good. That was looking a bit rough there. Enter. I'd like to get some of my ammo back first before I enter. Stop with your shooting. I just need the ammo and I'll be off my way. Dude, the ammo right now is not, not good. Why is my ammo situation so pathetic? Like, literally, there's no ammo. Okay, this is very bad. Why is my ammo situation just suddenly turned to shit? Okay, I'm going to take a gamble and go through the flower. With very little ammo. This isn't... This, this hasn't worked at all the way I wanted it to. Dude, just... Good. I don't even know what this is. The Lopsit Receipt. The Lot Sip Rasal. I have literally no idea what that means. Seems decent. Don't really know what happened to my health there. Man! Oh. Just our ammo situation has just turned to absolute shit. I don't know what happened. It was going so well. We're like, had all the ammo we would have needed. And then it just, yeah, just suddenly went so south. Hopefully we can pick some stuff to get some more ammo this time. Right. Okay, so... Probably want to go with Bloodlust. Still want to go with Tough Shell, yeah. Bouncy fat could just make things even worse. Boiling veins was really good. So was impact wrists the Enriched metabolism's pretty good stuff. Rhino skin, of course. Gamma guts, I guess. Rabbit paw. Strong spirit. And then... Try this one instead this time. 
So I no longer have puffy cheeks and trigger fingers, which is going to make our fire rate a lot, 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 lot slower. That hopefully shouldn't matter all that much. In fact, it might even help my ammo situation. I still don't really get what's going on with this thing. It's like a laser that shoots from the wall towards me. Oh, lovely. Let's see that coming. Good, good. This thing still does an insane amount of damage. Come on. Why? Still need a better secondary weapon. This this thing's not very good. I mean, it's fine, but could be better. Good for like lot like. Firing from a, a decent range away. I don't know what happened to this thing. This thing was like insane before. Maybe something that I had was like lifting it up, but not quite as good anymore. Get out of ammo on that bad boy. That thing killed me again, dude. That thing's tricky. Anyways, we managed to get the alt skin, so let's go and take a look what it is. I bet it's pretty cool. Uh, where is he? There we go. <laughs> Just like naked Heisenberg. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.